Hi all, we are going to see the IV characteristics of PN junctions in this video. IV characteristics means current voltage characteristics. It's actually a simple topic. I believe that uh, you have already watched my previous video about PN junctions because it will give you a uh, more understanding of what we are going to discuss in this video. So let's start. Uh, curve between the voltage and current across the circuit defines the voltage current properties of pn junction diodes the x axis represents the voltage and uh, while the y axis represents current the voltage current characteristics curve of the pn junction diode is uh, shown in the graph uh, here with the help of the uh, curve we can see that the diode works in three different uh, areas which are uh, zero bias forward bias and uh, reverse bias when the pn junction diode is in zero bias condition there is no external voltage applied and this means that the potential barrier at the junction does not allow the flow of current when the pn junction diode is in forward bias condition the p type is connected to the positive terminal while the n type is connected to the negative terminal of the external voltage when the diode is uh, arranged in this manner there is a redu reduction in the potential barrier for uh, silicon diodes uh, when the voltage is 0.7 volt uh, and uh, for germanium diodes uh, when the voltage is 0.3 volts the potential barriers decreases and there is a flow of current uh, when the diode is in forward bias the current increases uh, slowly and the curve obtained is non-linear as the voltage applied to the diode overcomes the potential barrier once the diode overcomes the potential barrier the diode behaves normally and the curve rises sharply as the external voltage increases and the curve obtained is linear when the pn junction diode is in negative bias condition the p type is connected to the negative terminal while the n type is connected to the positive terminal of the external voltage this uh, results in an increase in the potential barrier uh, reverse saturation current flows in the beginning as minority carriers are present in the junction when the applied voltage is increased uh, this minority charges will have increased kinetic energy which affects the majority charges this is a stage when the diode breaks down this may also destroy the diode hope you got the concept uh, if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment sections and uh, please don't forget to subscribe the channel so i'm signing off see you in the next video bye bye